Hi guys, this is Dave from Cook and Share, and today we're making up these mouth-watering, creamy mashed potatoes, sometimes referred to as potatoes mousseline. These will go perfect with some honey mustard barbecue chicken, and Larry over at the Wolf Pit is making these up today, so head on over and give them a try. I'm going to get started by peeling the potatoes. You can use just about any kind of potato, but russet or Yukon gold seem to work about the best. I'm just going to go ahead here and cut these up into about, oh, I'd say three or four pieces, just so they're manageable to boil. I have a pot of boiling water here that I've seasoned with some salt. So I'm going to throw the potatoes in. And boil them for, oh, I'd say 15 minutes, just until they're fork tender. Now that the potatoes are done, I'm going to place them into a colander over a bowl and take my spoon and press them through. Now this may seem like a lot of work, but it's well worth the effort because believe me, it makes the creamiest potatoes you've ever had. Okay, what I'm going to do now is throw half a cup of whipping cream into a bowl because you only want one cup whipped. I usually chill this because it's a lot easier to work with. And I'm going to beat this just until it doubles in volume. Now we're going to go ahead and add three quarters of a cup of milk. Followed by half a cup of unsalted melted butter. Now you might want to save, oh I'd say about half a tablespoon because you're going to use it later. Half of the whipped cream. And I'm just going to take my whisk here and mix this until everything comes together. If the wire whisk isn't comfortable for you, you can always use a wooden spoon. Then we'll season the potatoes with some salt, freshly ground black pepper, and as always the amount depends entirely on your taste. Now I'm going to go ahead and add the remaining half of the whipped cream, take my spatula and fold everything together. What I've got here is a 9 by 9 baking dish. I'm just going to brush it with the little bit of butter I had left over. So we're going to add the potatoes in. Smooth them out until they're nice and even. And just for a visual effect here, I'm going to take my fork and drag it across. Now if you had some extra time and wanted to get really fancy, you could pipe some extra potatoes over the top, but I'm kind of strapped for time here. Okay, let's slip this into a 350 degree preheated oven for about half an hour. While well, the potatoes are baking, don't forget to click to subscribe and never miss a video. After about 25 minutes into the bake, what I'm going to do is turn my oven up to broil and allow this to brown for 4 or 5 minutes. After 25 minutes, our potatoes are nicely browned on top and you're ready to serve. Believe me, these are creamy, airy, melt-in-your-mouth delicious. These will go perfect with some honey mustard barbecue chicken, and Larry over at the Wolf Pit is making these up today, so head on over and give them a try. For more details on this recipe, go to our blog at cookandshare.com. Don't forget to click to subscribe and like our videos. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.